What's up guys and welcome. You are watching Fuzzy Fitness. Starting this video with a 7 weeks out Olympia update of a man who really doesn't consider himself an underdog going into his first Olympia. I am talking about none other than Blessing. The reason why people believe he won't be making any solid impact at this year's Olympia is lack of enough size on his legs especially the hamstrings. Blessing's time will definitely come if he keeps on making the improvements the way he did from 2021 to 2022. But realistically speaking, there is just no way Blessing cracks top 6 in this year's Olympia. Considering the lineup, even if Blessing places top 10 at his Olympia debut, that will be an incredible accomplishment. Talk about setting realistic expectations, look at what Samson has been saying throughout his prep, despite looking one of the most impressive bodybuilder of the current times. He just wants to crack top 10. Compare that to Blessing, who is expecting a top 3 finish in 7 weeks. Now Blessing's actual rival should be Charles Griffin. The guy he beat at Indy Pro. Charles is getting really grainy as he enters the 7 weeks out mark. He has an amazing back. The hamstrings, the glutes, the upper back, nothing is missing. Charles is getting back on the Olympia stage after 4 years. So from getting the hernia surgery done, fixing his midsection and the implementation of that vacuum, that is a vastly improved physique. So Blessing versus Charles, who you got? Two days back, we saw Nick Walker hitting his favorite most muscular pose, pumped up in the gym, and today he released another picture hitting the same shot without the pump. Seems like Nick has been putting a lot of effort in the posing since the start of his Olympia prep and according to him it is paying off really well. If we look at Nick's presentation in 2021, he held his poses really well on stage. People never complained about him letting his stomach loose between the poses and that is great for him. As far as his improvements in the legs are concerned, totally different lighting in these pictures. One was taken 7 weeks out of the Arnold Classic 2021 and 9 weeks out of the Olympia. And the latest one is 7 weeks out of the Olympia 2022. And Nick Walker himself says that his 2021 Arnold Classic look was his favorite. His legs are looking bigger. But will he be able to retain that volume is a different question. Keep in mind that recent one is without any pump. Victor Martinez is one of those pros who have retired from competitive bodybuilding but still follows the lifestyle with extreme dedication. Victor hasn't competed since the Arnold Classic 2020 and he has responded fans question a numerous times that he doesn't intend to come back and compete again. Definitely one of the greatest bodybuilder this sport has ever seen and the uncrowned Mr. Olympia 2007. A very impressive physique update of another retired bodybuilder Alexis Rivera who downsized because of the health reasons but still maintains a physique which can be considered more than ideal for many. 2018 was like the peak of his IFBB professional career. The same year he stepped on the Olympia stage as well. Alexis was forced to lose weight due to injury to his left knee. His knee basically could not support the massive legs so he was left with no choice but to downsize. Walking around 250 pounds, looking like a superhuman is always very hard on the system. 
That's why all these guys feel so healthy when they lose that extra weight. For the record, he has been completely natural for two years now. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the video and smash the subscribe button if you wanna come back for more. Thanks for watching.